Hey guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about dental anesthesia, the different points in the oral cavity that you can inject. In order to have a good understanding, you first need to know the nerve distribution of the face, mainly the jaw and the mouth. So you've got the trigeminal nerve giving off three branches, which is the ophthalmic, maxillary and mandibular, but we're only interested in the maxillary and the mandibular. So you have two main types of nerve blocks, the maxillary block and the mandibular block. Besides the main ones, you also have regional blocks. So it is important to understand the branches, for example, the mental nerve, the inferior alveolar nerve, which is the most common one, the incisive nerve. You also have lingual and buccal. Starting with the maxillary block, you can either give it in the pterygopalatine fossa or in the coronoid process of the mandible or in the greater palatine canal. The branches of the maxillary will include the superior alveolar nerve. So you can have the posterior, the middle, the anterior, superior alveolar nerves. You can also block the infraorbital nerve, nasopalatine nerves. Speaking about the mandibular block, you will aim for either the notch or you'll go for the condyla process. So the different regional ones will include the branches. You can have the auricular temporal, the inferior alveolar, as I mentioned earlier, the most common one. Then the lingual, the buccal, mylohyoid nerve. You can also aim for the retromolar foramen. For example, you can see the distribution of blockade of the inferior alveolar in blue, the lingual in pink and the buccal in green. Let's go through it again. With blockade, it is always important to know the distribution. You need to know what you're going to block. So here we can see the infraorbital block on the top of the lip, then the anterior, middle and posterior superior alveolar block, depending on the placement of the teeth, nasopalatine block, the incisive foramen, and then the greater palatine block next to the canal. Those were the maxillary. And now, moving on to the mandibular, here you have the buccal block, the inferior alveolar block through the mental foramen. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.